Hello everybody, welcome back to uh, uh, Hitman Codename 47. I'm Wizbro 100 along with... Hitman again. And we're back and we're gonna finish all the last levels. Now we're in uh, the hotel in Budaqua or whatever. And uh, this level is one of the levels that got remade in contract because it's a really good level. And it stays true in the original too. Yeah, this, this is an oddly fast security footage. Looks like it was sped up. Probably. I didn't speed anything up in this video. So, this is where the fiber wire work comes in. And uh, a bit of something about what you were saying in early videos about how nobody recognizes it as a weapon until later games. Yeah, do... Do they not recognize it in this this game? They do. You'll see it as I uh, accidentally pull it out. By the way, I also noticed something. You know that thing at the, the briefing? Like, why is the box so small? It just, yeah, hit, it just hit me that I should have enlarged them so that everyone can read it, including us. Yeah, it's, I don't know, there's not that much time to read it anyway. Reading is never good for Let's Plays. Nope. Tobias Reaper. Tobias Reaper, yeah. Again. I don't know why the text has to be that tiny in the corner in these game in this uh, first game. Yeah, I always hate that when games sort of like tie the um, text size Oh, look, my target reticle is on, oh, Looks never mind. Like wolf is in room 202. I yeah, they, always tie it, they tie it to resolution, you know, the size of the text, and it, yeah. it, I wish it was just a, a universal size that you could just read it. Yeah, because uh, if I played this at 800 and, uh, by 600, the, the stat bars would be just really big. Plus the screen would be too small for me. So here I try to look for the, uh, where the bathhouse is, but I couldn't find it, so I decided to look for the uh, right hotel and get, get around doing things. So, hmm, Mr. Wolf seems to be in 202. Now why would you need to know? Now why would you need to bring that up, sir? Oh, I'm not totally gonna kill him and uh, save the hotel. Oh, good enough. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of weird how you just sort of like outright ask for that. It's convenient he opened the page just to where Mr. Wolf is. Yeah, I would guess he opened like the stuff from the last day, but this place looks like it'd be a little busier than that. Yeah, this is probably uh, so like uh, one of the better, one of the best level designs in this entire game. Yeah, it's it's like big and open. There's another level on Hitman uh, Blood Money that I liked. It was called Death on Mississippi. There's like this giant Mississippi. Uh, there's like this giant steamboat, and you're you're on it. And there's like so many different rooms that just like don't do anything. They're like, but aesthetically, it's correct. Right, and then there's also like little secrets you can find. Oh yeah, like in the Hitman Contracts, you can find a ghost in uh, in the remake, but not in the this this one. I really did not need to kill the bellboy. He was not necessary. He was innocent. Yet. How could you? Yeah, I found out that uh, I didn't. I did not need to kill any civilians, and that I just had only needed to um just stay in the suit. But I killed him because it it looks stealthy. Poor boy. Yeah. Once they find him, once they find him in the uh. In the bathroom after this mission's done, though. Well, he passed out in the well, bathroom for a long time. Yeah, and, and choked himself with auto rack asphyxiation. That's the, that's the natural conclusion they're going to come to. So that's the room that we need to be in, not this one. This one is connecting to the other room. You remember that training from way oh, early in the tutorial? Oh, you have to shuffle along the side. Yeah, the this, this has been done in, like, numerous levels after this. Like, every hotel level. Oh, there's a situation for taking out fiber wire. So I'm like, fuck. Fuck you, Hitman. You told me they wouldn't yeah. know about this. Well, you didn't exactly want to jump across the, uh, you know. You'll, you'll see something, you actually. Jump across, the, jump across the the railing to the other railing while like, I was looking at you. The patio? Or probably yeah, he probably would have shot you. He would have, but uh, I did something very weird. Oh, yeah, so... Uh, shoot. So, uh, speaking of that poor bellboy, I was trying to... If I could drug him, I would have, but not in this game. What the fuck? <laughs> Fat ass Russian woman. Oh, bitch, you're asking for it. What is she talking about? She's like, oh, she won't let me into the woman's bathhouse. And she's like, oh, because you're a man, man, you can't enter unless you chop this is off your actually... dick. This is actually the same person they hired to enforce the like trans bathroom regulations oh, in the United God. States. Fun fact. Really? Fuh. Wow, that's weird. And I guess that lady just assumed Hitman was a man, because he's Hitman. 
Nah, this guy, him. I don't know why he's he, he stops only you. He doesn't stop anyone else, not that there is anyone. Oh, actually, there's one other person, but he only stops you. So I change clothes and he just suddenly teleports to the other side. But the hotel has a strict rule that says its guests must be dressed when walking around. I believe your clothes are in the last booth. Please change. Wait, did he just tell you to change After changing, then... yes. Okay. Take a little dip. This part. You, can, you can supposedly like drown a guy in here. Yep, but we're gonna kill this guy. Is this Hitler? <laughs> Fat Hitler? Yes. Fatler? Yeah, I guess so. It makes me really want to like do like uh, show you the God Run mode where I do something completely hilarious in this level. Like even legitimately and illegitimately, this level's great. Extremely what the hell? Convenient. What was that? He was crawling like crabby. It's extremely convenient that no one else ever goes into this. Yeah, nobody ever does. I believe they fix it in contracts. This is yeah. Yeah, this is this is one of actually three hotel levels that I can remember. There's a hotel level in uh, Absolution. There's a hotel level in uh, Blood Money as well. So yeah, apparently they. they oh, like, where'd I grab that key oh, from? Oh my God! Why was he keeping that? In, in his speedo or his asshole? Either way, his... yuck. <laughs> Stuffed it in his speedo. Well, Hitman, you know, he's... You know, I couldn't steal it from his clothes in the changing room, which there are no clothes from him. So we walked around the hotel are you naked. This woman? Yes. I found Wait, her that... Why, why does she follow you around? She, ha he, she has a she thing... She wants to block specifically you from getting into the Cause hotel. Because you're bald. You're Saitama. And she's doing some exercise in here. So she's not... So she's not going to block anyone else. That might have entered from the yeah, other she, side. She just guessed that you would have gone in. Wait, to, check this know, out. Check this out. I accidentally pick up the fiber wire. I was like, "What? Oh, oh you, you I, left it there." I, I put. I took it into my clothes. I didn't know I could actually pick that up separately. Because huh. it's either on you or not on you, right? So I kept it in my ribs. As I told you earlier. Oh, it's just like an automatic. She turns um, to you if do, you're around do, her. Doing exercise. What are you doing. She's doing exercise. <laughs> Russian exercise to All lose that weight. Yeah, she's like turning around. All Doesn't right, well, find the suspicious at all. That's the end of her. Now watch Hitman 47's badass rate. This is the only shower, uh, room that has a shower. Does nothing. No ladies, no nothing. Yeah. Alright. What am I looking for? I'm just seeing if there was anything interesting in the hotel. Now, if you go out of hotel in the nude, you get in trouble immediately, as the other guy brought up, so... You said witness is bad. What's badass about this? I said it was going to be badass, just, uh... In a tip... In not... He lifts a 300-pound woman! No oh surprise. My goodness. But look... Jeez. Oh, look at that buoyancy. Look at that buoyancy. Oh, <laughs> I get a little immature here. True to life, definitely. Oh, you put them in the same. Yeah, I guess. I guess you. They both uh, strangled each other. I guess. They had an affair. Yeah, that's the. Uh, that's the story you're going for here. They both. They, they both strangled themselves. No, he strangled her and then turned like the coals on to like suffocate himself. Or it's like he died from the heat and exa or exertion, because he had a weak see, heart. See, this this totally would confuse them. You know, I would like it for a game where if you did something like this, they would actually acknowledge it, like uh, they try to figure out what it was. Or found dead together in the bathroom. It's... Yeah, but like, well, then, what, then they'd be like, well, what's this dead bellboy doing? I don't know. Hmm. But actually, you didn't, you didn't even do that in this playthrough, so. Yeah. This, this uh, scenario. But let's say if they did, it'd be like, um, it'd be like, hmm, this might be a deeper mystery than we thought. Yeah, they... They never really like find you. Like you'll you'll never lose the game because you did it so poorly that they eventually lead back to you. Like no one ever finds you. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of the game, I uh, was recently playing some Silent Assassin just to take a look at it again, and I gotta say, beating it, uh, beating the game, it's not that difficult. But beating it uh, with a Silent Assassin rating is frustrating. Oh, you put you beat the whole game? No, no. I just kept playing the first level until I got Silent Assassin, because apparently you unlock stuff for beating levels on Silent Assassin. Yeah, it is a tricky thing. You have to, you have to like understand where different things are and what this guy is gonna get you where. Yeah, yeah. You pretty the thing much. Thing about Silent Assassin is like there's no real way. 
There's no reliable way to knock people out, or like it only it doesn't last for very long. You can only drug them for a. Uh... Oh, look at his pose. I, I bent his arms. Oh my goodness. Yep, enjoying the bathtub, lazy monster, monster boy. I found that they that, can actually. Was it was it enough that you had to kill him? You had to break his arm and then like put it in like a backward position. Disarm him. Of course, you're gonna leave the room open. By the way, I found out that there was actually spare bellboy rooms in one of the uh, closets that I only found out yeah, was in God Mode room. A lot of the time in the in these games, they're just Oops! Like, spare... What's this? Wait, he just he just went back in. He didn't even notice. You've got to be kidding me. More unrefinement. That alarm didn't really do anything. Yeah, a lot of the time though, like you, you can get disguises that are just lying around, which is much better because you don't have to worry about the corpse and getting discovered. Yes, and the penalties for it. So here are some letters that you can read, which I do a look at, I believe. Hey! Uh, Drugs are keeping me fit, and I believe they can keep me on top. Interesting. The guy that wrote that is Pablo. I believe that was the, uh, the drug runner. Really good that there's a, there's a silenced pistol in here. That they're allowed to get a, get away with. Well, of course, but uh, yeah, I wonder why they would have silenced pistols instead that's, of just that, regular pistols. That's true. Sharon just dead. He had no, no keys on him because we already took the uh, dentist x-ray room key. So, time to change some disguises and first drop the weapon, or else the metal detectors in this level will detect you. So I'm going to put this guy into the washroom with him, too, and create another elaborate story. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a good thing there's another guard outside of this room who will conveniently make it so that no one will ever go in and check. That is true. There's another way to make it so that they don't check at all is the Do Not Disturb sign. <laughs> the human spider centipede. Nice. Now, what did you just pick up? And that, why? That case we needed it. Because in the briefing, if you were able to read it, you'd probably have to pause it. Oh yeah, that do not disturb sign. You put a do not disturb useful. sign on the other side. Yeah, it didn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah, don't don't disturb the outside of this room, please. Oh no. What? I I don't know if I could have dropped that, but anyways, that ca that case, it's to contain an X-ray or a bomb in the sh in the disguise of an X-ray machine, because someone was gonna blow up this hotel. Normally, oh. the agency doesn't do anything about this, but. They would uh, get like favors from uh, the government if they helped them with this. So that's so that, why you're here. There's a bomb big enough to destroy a hotel in that case. No, no, no. Uh, in the dentist's office. This case is the contain it. Or it was the transport case. I don't know how that got past metal detectors. So wait. <laughs> so the bomb isn't in that case right oh. now? Nope. What? But this, but this guy's in this room now. Huh? I don't know how that worked. I just pulled him out from you... the other side. But Hitman's magic. And no I know matter that. what, no matter what, Hitman will get you from the other side. God, that's a tortured reference. Uh, it is angry. G I. Huh. It's good to see he's still finding work. Yes. This is not a cannon run, by the way. After all the video game reviews. And such, he manages to find work as a security guard. He still exists. I, I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen his work, really. Or at least anymore. But, I mean, I've, se I've seen like one or two of things he's done, but didn't know if he still does it. Well, if that much money you make, he probably. Well, I don't know. People sort of like people in that sort of. I don't know if you call it business line of work. Of, yeah, they sort of fade out of the existence sometimes. People just stop paying attention to them for whatever reason. Depends. All right. Well, so our goal is to get this bomb out of here. Mm-hmm. Okay. You you still have answered my question. So the bomb that was going to destroy the hotel is, hotel is in that case right now. No, <clears throat> the bomb is in the uh, dentist room disguised as an X-ray machine. This case is used to transport it. Okay. Yeah. So now we got to go find the uh, dentist office. And then take the bomb and get it out of the hotel. Get it out of the hotel. But how could a bomb small enough to be transported in that case destroy a hotel? Because Hitman Codename 47 said so. That is 
That doesn't make... They, they didn't say uh. what type of bomb it was. They just said it was big enough to, like, blow up the hotel. That... This is really silly. Friend, Mr. Wolf is accommodated. Well, he's such a nice person. He gives a very generous tip every time I bring him clean towels. That's you some good... Find him in room 202. I don't know what was what was with that information if the cutscene from way earlier showed us it was in room 202. It's just to show that the guy that uh, we killed is a really nice guy to his, uh, you know, uh, hotel staff. Or he's very rich. Well, he still doesn't have to give a good tip. Alright, so continuing on looking for the hotel. It's on the third floor, so I tried to find stairs for Oh, it's dentist. Let's this this uh, level looks really easy in comparison to the other levels that I've seen. I'll say this, it, you can you can stealth it the entire way through. At least there's some like um there's some more freedom here. Hello. Yeah. I have an appointment with Herr Fox. Is he in? I'm afraid not. Fred Fox. <laughs> oh, God. Fred Fox. Was oh my the, God, Fred, Fred Fox. Fred Fox was in the bath. Was in the um. The sauna, and we killed them all earlier. So we're yeah, yeah. so we got to get into the dentist's office from the outside. So look for the exit. Is, is that a? We have to do what? it this way. How is there just free access up here? You think that would be one of those emergency exit do not cross things? Like emergency exit do not, you know. Well, it's to get to the other side of the hotel. So that I don't know. Anyways, this window we can go in. And kill this guy um, too. This guy's dead. Strangling people with uh, suitcases. Definitely. This is why I like fiber. It makes no noise and it makes no um, no blood. Leaves no blood behind. Oh, the only negative thing is of it is that if they somehow caught you, uh, you 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 have you it can only you can only kill them from behind. But if you have a knife, you yeah. can at least stab them in the front, which still isn't very effective. I gotta say. They have the same animation of it in Silent Assassin. Yeah, it's... I don't know, it's kind of weak. You really don't want to be using melee against anyone. No, that's true. Well, not, like, open melee. Now, that's the bomb right there. So yeah. now we gotta get out. Yeah, it looks like it. And is this the end of the mission? You just have to get the bomb and... Just get the bomb kill out those two and... people? Uh, yeah, kill those two people and then get the bomb out. The guy we killed in the sh in the hotel shower room was the guy who wanted to plant that bomb. Here's something I haven't noticed. So 47, whenever he's wearing his default suit, is he wearing gloves? Uh, the black gloves? I believe so. Yeah, because it's interesting that he takes them off when, when he puts on a new disguise and leaves oh, his hot. fingerprints everywhere. E exactly. Unless he has no fingerprints, because he's, you know, genetically perfect. That'd be interesting. If that was like part of his genetic engineering, but I don't think it's ever been said that that's the case. And well, he's also never caught, so even if they have his fingerprints, what what's it gonna do? Well, they would know that the same person committed certain crimes. Well, but that is, that's that would true. be it. That is true. You no, know, did they ever have a Hitman game where he's in competition with another Hitman on the same mission? And well, actually, well, actually, there's a mission in Hitman Blood Money where there's a where there are assassins about to kill a politician, and you actually have to kill the assassins before they kill the politician. Okay, so, you're so, like, so, so intervention. You're like, a, you're like a counter assassin. And there's a mission where, there's another mission where you face off against another assassin. Actually, there's multiple missions where you do that in Blood Money. Because Sounds the whole idea cool. is like you're is like you're being hunted down. So here's one of the exit. There's another way to exit this, which uh, is actually done in the God Run I mode that I. Recorded. Oh, so, oh, so there's someone else driving you? Yes. Huh. And if you take the other route, it's much funnier, I gotta say. There's no subtitles for this, I see. The DNA of four or five old men in here. What about the DNA? What's going on in those cutscenes? Because I couldn't hear it. It's basically the backstory of how Hitman 47 was conceived. So he's a clone of all four or five guys in that room. Right, just a combination of them? Yes, the best of them. Anyway, so right here, the next target is the guy who's been uh, supplying Lee Hung and Pablo with weapons, and that's uh, 
Boris. Now we gotta find him because we don't know where the location is, so it's another lead up mission. Ivan Savankodif? This guy's story is that uh, he tried to kill himself, but like he wouldn't die, so we thought he was invincible. Huh. Basically a midget Lucky Charms guy. This, uh... They always seem to find an excuse to, uh... What's he doing? Uh, punching this one guy because he didn't like him. So, he has anger issues. They always find an excuse to have, like, some strip club in the game. Of course, because, uh, you know, we're, we're going mature, right? Might as well go all the way. Yeah, there's one in Absolution, there's one in Blood Money. Damn harbor. Well, it's not those are the only exactly two I've really played in completion. Resort. But then again... By the way, I, I uh, brightened up uh, these levels because they're it's really dark and hard to see. Interesting what? dialogue from 47 there because we don't usually get him talking. Yes. Especially but, not to himself. Oh, only he can relate to himself. And look at this guy. He's, stu he's inside the pillar. Nice. And I thought like, hey, Couple since he's... Shots. I was like, hey, down. since he's inside the pillar, he can't possibly be spotted, right? Hmm. Flaming windmill. So... I get spotted because I carried a different weapon in the dark. Yeah, I'd... Why got... are you carrying this sniper rifle around again? Ah, uh, the game just gave it to me, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll see if I can play around with this. Oh, tactical. Like oh, look at that. What the... Where'd he go? I blew his tactical ass out of existence. So mission failed. Cause so, uh, so what's? How did you fail the mission? Rotterdam. Cause uh, I made too much noise, and they know there's uh, an, like something going wrong, so they canceled the meeting. Much like oh, uh, I see, I see. with the Lee Hong thing. So this guy, who did this guy hire, and why? Wait, right, who did what hired what? Our target in this mission. Our target is uh. Is doing business with the flaming windmill, like, because they want weapons. They got weapons. Oh, wait, let's see. The flaming windmill have money and they want weapons, so they're buying it from uh, Boris. And Boris has this guy, this midget uh, uh, shamrock um, lucky charms guy, uh, supply, um, trans using him to collect the money and then tell them where the weapons are. Okay. By the way, we're gonna need that train. To bust open some door, so a bit of puzzle solving in here. Are, are, are you gonna do the the Dudley, or no? What was it? The Snidely Whiplash thing, and put the guy on the train tracks. Oh, although that, I guess he's not tied up and he's not alive, so that wouldn't really make much sense. It doesn't really do anything, too. Also, do not get hit by a train when you're in God mode, because you're gonna be stuck. Oh, does it just, like launch you? It just it he it just keeps pushing him and he gets stunned, so he's gonna so Hitman just goes like oh 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 and since he doesn't die he just gets trapped by the train. Yeah, one of the unintended consequences of God mode. Uh, this uh the map feature really sucks ass. You can't use the mouse wheel to zoom in and then like press left or right to like uh look around. No, you have to individually select the hand and the and the zoom icon to look closer. Which is really dumb, and they fixed it in later games. Yeah, it's kind of silly why they can't just use like mouse wheel control. It, it does have mouse wheel control, but they didn't implement it like for for that. I was just like, wow, this is really primitive. Also, yeah. um, you know what? I, what always bothered me every time you bought weapons, bought weapon for the missions, like uh, what does forty seven return it to the agency, and then he has to buy it again? Yeah, it doesn't really make any sense. Especially the compass and binoculars. Like, you're telling me he couldn't find those in the store? He has to pay, like, a hundred? them? Yeah. In later games, you, you, he just starts out with them. Much smarter choice. Yeah. Stuff like binoculars is pretty easy. And you, you have, like, standard equipment every game. Like, you have mines and stuff. Lockpick. Mines? I mean, he can just, just kind of lockpick, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can do, like, remote explosions. It's like a... It can do... It opens up a lot of different routes in Blood Money. And this train is unmanned. It just goes all around this place. Like, what's its purpose? Look, those white lines are where it goes. It doesn't go anywhere else. It's just like those carnival trains are, that just like go around. Like, ding, ding, yeah, it ding. doesn't really. I don't really get why would, they would have it keep going. Only because uh, this mission requires it. Yeah, makes me think. Not, of... not like there's any other way you could open a gate. 
and they yeah, crash you, a train through it. You can't lockpick it, you can't uh, jump over the fence, you can't rip the fence, you can't do anything. I can uh, see why you can't jump over these fences. There, It's barbed wire, but still, like, you know, that there's an option there. Kinky, like, co Kinky Cola? That's what this place is called? But Very popular soft drink. That girl has Russia, a apparently. Talent. Now we're gonna hire a what girl, a stripper. What girl? Manager. The one I didn't behind see us. A girl. The one behind us. Hitman or forty-seven here sees things faster than the human can. Why does the camera shake like this? Because my computer's too. You asked this before. Uh, because my computer's too high high tech. It normally does not do this. Usually, yet. usually that's not the explanation for why old things doesn't work. Usually, it's got something to do with operating systems and like. Yeah, yeah, that's stuff what I like meant. That. But I mean, it doesn't mean like your the specs are too good or anything like that. Hi, I'm Sandy. What can I do for you? Sand. 47 loves to just like, like talk to prostitutes and strippers and stuff. How about treating him to a good time? The only time he ever makes any personal thing against like uh, people is during that one kiss from mailing. Do her lips move? I'll be there in 20 seconds. Are her lips moving or is she just like constantly smiling? She looks like she has a Botox injection. She, uh, hey, she by the way, you can't go into that store if uh, you don't have a costume on, which I found out in the God Run mode. Oh, uh, I see. So distract him with a stripper. Yes. To put a GPS on the car because well, we need to find actually, where Boris is. I, uh, Come on, let's play a little game. Um, okay. I, I guess I can leave the car and attend it for a few minutes. Oh, why can't we play it right here? Um, uh. That oh, guy's not suspicious yeah. or anything standing near the car. I'm not doing my job. Fuck it. Oh, you're putting a GPS in the car. Yes, I have to wait till he's out of uh, view. Yeah, apparently nobody in these these games is ever like able to resist the temptation of uh, random prostitutes. And it's not it's not like anyone could have hired you, you know, to like take you away from your post or anything. That would be just crazy. Or you know, have more guards and be like, uh, "Hey, Larry, can you cover my post? I'm gonna have some stripper fun." Oh, she, she, she just, just does a pole dance over here. That's it. What was it, was it? Also, uh, what about the guards from Metal Gear where they, they, they take the time to look at uh, porno mags? Yeah, they're probably just, I don't know. You gotta figure they've been just like running around like Russia for forever, like this cold. And some cold ass, some frustrations, perhaps? Perhaps. I'm trying to look at that ass. What are you... Okay, what is the point of this? Oh, I That is the weakest... <laughs> She she danced for like a minute. So where was that game she was talking about? Anyways, that the way. Apparently this guy she to come works back. pretty expensively. I didn't even need to pay her. Anyways, yeah. we had to wait. Uh, we had to put the GPS, wait for this guy to get his stripper dance, and then this guy that was also in the bar will come out and then drive the car. I see. That was his partner in there, so we couldn't have been like, uh, "Hey man, can you watch my post while I um da 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 da." Go have some stripper fun. Yeah, apparently in other missions you can like just you can actually like go on stage. It's like a stripper show, it's like you can go back go, you know you can go backstage and like get on get on stage and just run around and then people will like start shooting at you. <laughs> it's very funny. Hmm. Like later games where there's the same principle applies. Didn't do that in this game because I ran on stage and nothing happened. Oh man. Not that there were too many people to shoot you, aside from the bartender, who's Australian. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be much clientele. I, I can understand why, because... Like... Was this yeah. place once a town, and now it's not anymore? That That's... You know what? That confused me. That bar is right here in this, like, this shipyard area. Like, what? Uh, I guess it's for the, like, dock workers and sailors. No, and I guess stuff. the Flaming Wheels, like, pay pretty good money to have them there. Maybe. Maybe there's like actual work going on during the day. It's just during the night where all the shady stuff Probably. happens. Speaking of the night, look at the sky. It's like really flat. Yeah, well, I'm better than certain other games I can mention. Oh, like what? Mighty Number no. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, make, just make it a solid color. That's that's all you need. That's what four million dollars of page or of uh, Kickstarter Backer. money gets you. Yep. So then there are the the dogs, right here. They're Quite annoying. They go through your. They bypass your armor. Dogs in video games are the worst. I I've yet to, to find a good dog in a, or a dog in a video game that didn't make me want to tear my hair out whenever I encountered it. Ah, okay, that's better. Because if you said like 
you have yet to find a good dog, it's like, wait, they've been fucking you up. Unless I'm talking about, like, ally dogs, but, like, enemy dogs, they're, they're always, like, really hard to hit. And always they really always prank. do a good fucking job of fucking you over. Wait, you're gonna put the GPS transmitter in there, just leave all the dead dogs around? You can't drag them, so that's not, uh... So they're not gonna find that suspicious at all? They do, but they don't do anything about it, they're just like, oh, yeah. good dog. So I'm trying to take out all these guys in here. Well, you take out all of them? Yes. Jeez. Good, good. This is like a very RoboCop drug scene, except, like, way less people and no RoboCop. Yeah. Your move creep. Dead or alive, you're I, most I likely love the dead. Back. I love the front flips they do. Like, that just adds so much to this game. It's still kind of like it happens in, a uh, Silent Assassin 2, and it, it, it's funny for, like, the wrong reasons. Yeah. And I died. Are oh, you got the continue, though? Yes. Got one continue. Oh, Boris is com or that, that midget is coming. So that guy died, but because the other guy killed him, and I didn't realize that. I was just like... Oh, was that like a story thing, or did, was he just shot accidentally? He was, sh like, a, just before I died, the guy's line of fire was hitting him, too. Oh, so yeah, when yeah. I came back, I was like, um... I was like, shit, where's the other guy? I looked around, I was like, oh, uh, not there. Are they gonna do the deal in three minutes? Yep. Mm, they will never see this flashing GPS here. Why well, wouldn't you, like... <laughs> you could've, like, put it in the money. Yeah, that that kind of like always like the the um, the Ivan guy does not check the case at all. He just uh, grabs. Reminds me of No Country for Old Men, the the Coen Brothers movie, where there's like a transmitter inside a bunch of cash. And what they do there is they, you know, it's 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 entirely a hundreds except for like one wad of cash where they like have a bunch of ones that they haul it out. And in the haul it out ones, they have a transmitter. Hmm, so you have to actually like flip through all the cash to get it. That's what I would have done. By the way, hi I found out during God Run mode that you actually don't even need to hide the bodies. That when the guy comes in to collect the money, he doesn't give he a just shit. He doesn't care. Yeah. He actually just yeah, assumes. Yeah, at all. He actually just assumes that you know you guys just had a quarrel and uh, not that you're an assassin or anything. Kanichiwa suitcase. Because 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 Hitman like he bowed down towards the suitcase. I was like, pick it up. That'd be Konbanwa if, uh, for all the you Japanese studiers out there. Oh god, like in jazz punk? Combo what? Well, it means good afternoon instead of good day. Oh yeah, th during good, this or, time. Or of good, thing. good evening, I should say. Instead of good afternoon. Alright, so Boris comes. Or not Boris, Ivan, I keep mixing them up. This guy looks ridiculous. He looks like... Like I said, he looks like a... Um, a leprechaun. Good afternoon, look at charms. He also sounds like Mario at one point too. So are you? So you want the deal to go down so you can track both of the parties in the deal? Where are my weapons? He want he. Well, you put the GPS in the money so that he takes the money back to Boris. Then you will know where Boris is because they don't know where Boris is. Give it to me. Okay. I want the money. I'm a ma. I sounded like Mario. Hey, why do you have like ten bullet holes in you? I don't give a shit. You're a fuckhead. I'm a leave now. Oh, so your mission is not to kill this guy? Nope. You can kill him later, but not now. Oh, it's to track him, okay. Oh, not like it's, I could put the GPS tracker on the car or anything. I well, had you're, to... Didn't you already do that? I know. I'm saying I couldn't I do it for his car when he goes in for the money with the guys? I didn't have didn't to kill Didn't you do that everyone. for the car and you put something under the wheel well? Oh, I put a tractor in the, in the red car, then took it out to put it in the suitcase. Oh. Well done. The GPS you sold to Ivan led us to Boris. Now we have to move fast. Boris is getting ready to leave, and uh, he's going to activate a nuke. What kind of professional email is this? Just exclamation points all over the place. We have that there might be a nuke on board the ship. I'm Diana. I have emotions. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> Something is very wrong with that man's face. If he has his sunglasses, he wouldn't look so bad, but he, but he just kind of looks like a, Oh, hello. I'm here. So at a young age, he had a terrible life, and then he got into the black market. There we go. Okay. Always, yeah, now he's, now always he's trading nukes. Always child like, like slavery and like the or not slavery, but child like uh, trauma and the and like uh, these subjects like uh, the Scarface guy traumatized as a kid, uh, or not traumatized, but he had he had a run in as a kid with like a uh, bad people turned into bad guy. That's how it goes. Uh, so we get. 
I've seen this mission before. I've seen this mission in contracts. Where you, there's like... Oh, what? It's in contracts? Yeah, isn't there like a SWAT team raiding the ship as well? Oh, the, no, that's an added thing. But, yeah, you know, that makes sense, because, like, there, they, there's a nuke. Yeah. Do you have to fight the, the SWATs, or do they just, like, mistake no, you? No, well, you can, but you can also, like, disguise yourself as one of them and go in with them, or you can go in and out before they get there. You, you sort of have the choice there. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, this guy... The guy is always, like, threatening to detonate the nuke and stuff like that, and, and, and that's one of, like, You can the... use a minigun here, but for some reason it won't let me. I don't know if it's because I don't have enough money, but... Uh, it's you can have a mini sure gun in this level lots Ow. of death here they kill you quickly because the bullets shoot hey, so fast. yeah you got you doing here? destroyed there this uh there's a little puzzle here where you have to have two people going to the gate because if you go try to go in by yourself they stop you huh which is really annoying <gasps> what and they shot you anyway Mocha, you had to wait till he finishes talking then okay not like that no, it doesn't look like it. Essentially, you have to wait for these guys to come over. These guys are assholes. I'm so glad I got to kill them during the Godwin mode. Well, they are, uh, I don't know, doing their jobs. Fucking Can't dog. Blame them. I actually got killed by the dog as soon as wait, I killed even him. Even after he died. His bite was midair. I don't think the there's trouble in that uh, case guy. What the hell? Oh, uh, oh. Uh. No, nothing. So there's this car. I was supposed to arm a bomb here so that Boris dies if he goes in, but uh, no, I got he, that guy had to get a lucky headshot, and uh, well, there we go. So I try to get both at yeah, once. I don't think the work. direct approach is really working here. It would have worked if the game didn't keep fucking me over, as we mentioned with the combat. Boris yeah, escapes. But I don't know. Never saw that cutscene before. Attacking the yeah, attacking the armed thugs with AK-47 directly seems like actually bad. they have M4s. Or M16. Either way, it seems like a bad idea in general. It it is because the M16s are are way more accurate. What are you doing here? Leave the ship fast. Because there's a nuke. And you're right, you did die a lot here. So you're you're just putting a bomb on Boris's car so he dies when he leaves. Yes, because you can either kill him personally or you leave a bomb just to guarantee that he dies. Right. And there were guys on the pole masses. Is there any reason to do it in person and not leave the bomb? Like, it seems like the easiest way. The bomb is just a guarantee. Doing it in person is just more satisfying. But he takes a lot of health, so it's actually better to do the bomb. Yeah. So is, is, is Ivan here? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is. And you can kill him. If you find him, that is. But he's not, he's not, a, he's not a necessary target. And you don't get a bonus for killing him. I think it'd be nice to let him live. I did kill him, but he leaves, like, pretty quickly. So here's the full run, since there are no cuts and whatever. Fuck you, fuck him too. Front flips. Everyone's flexible when they're dead. You know, no rigor mortis or anything. Yeah, well, I mean, it doesn't set in that quick. I, I know, I know. To think, the, to think the force of a silenced pistol just, like, sends you catapulting away is kind of weird. Maybe maybe it's, that's why Hitman 47 is so amazing, because whatever weapon he touch, it causes people to go flying. So is there no other way around this? Nope, this is the only way, and you have to wait for this guy or another guy to come by to go together through the door. Very Why can't you crash a train through these guys? Because there are no trains, even though there are train tracks. It's a shame. You know what's weird? These guys can go in by themselves, except you. So it's inconsistent yeah. as well. Yeah, that's the, that's the weird thing about these games. It feels like the NPCs already know that you're the hitman, but they're just like looking for an excuse to shoot you, or trying to find evidence that. Uh, that's like the way. That's just the way they behave. Like it's so unnecessary. So I take this long route because the car yeah. bomb is on the other side of this like uh, map. Kill the dogs because they're bitches. So, does he just smell that you're different than the other yes. guards, or...? Huh. Wait, wait, the dogs, or the...? The dogs. The dogs immediately know that, who you are. Hey, I heard a gun, a silent gunshot. Yeah, I heard a gunshot, and this guy's running away from the dogs. Ooh, I don't know. They found a I dead prob Doberman. Probably unconnected. They found a dead Doberman. Oh, I guess what stupid... What a shame. I guess the stupid dog had a rabies. Fuck that dog, it made me look bad. Yeah, what a fucking shame. 
Ooh. There really is a lot of walk in this level. Yes, there is. This is the fastest that Hitman will go. And which, uh, break, going back to Silent Assassin, you move really slow in that game, I gotta say. Yeah, Silent Assassin has a lot of big areas as well. Yeah. And they if you run. and if you run, people just immediately know who you are. Like I was like, yeah, that's fuck that, fuck that so much. Like you know how we were talking about like how this game code name forty seven was very unrefined. After playing Silent Assassin, I kind of somewhat prefer this one because at least it's like really kind of not completely. Well, we'll, see, we'll see by the end of Silent Assassin what you think about it. Yeah, we probably will be doing that next. I'll be playing that one. Yes. Like, I'm not saying Silent Assassin is, uh, bad compared to this. No, it's an improvement, but, you know, there are a few things that, you know, Codename 47 did that was at least, like, tolerable. Well, Silent Assassin sort of, like, elevated the game. It sort of, it, it gave, you know, more, gave you more options, it gave you more, you know, refined techniques that you could use. Like, and you know, it, it kind of, I don't want to say it bullshit you less, but you don't die as fast in that game, at least on normal difficulty. Yeah. It's also got an uh, interesting storyline, like it's, it's, um, makes 47, like, into a per proper character instead of more, just, you know... More human. An assassin, yeah. I think there so, was also a minigun in that car, I didn't notice. Looked like one of those, like, A12 shotguns. There was all, that, that was another shot, there was a shotgun and, uh, there was, like, a big gun right there. I think there was also yeah. a sniper rifle, too. So I took mm -hmm. the silent MP5, really good gun. Yeah, it's fast, quiet. Yes. I don't know why that guy's just running. He's like, oh, wait, I, f I left the, I left the, 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 the truck un, uh, unmanned. Hey, dead dog. Hmm. Yeah, I thought he was following the dog. The dog was like, hey, come over here, come over here. I smell he was something. like, where, where, boy, where is it? And I smell a hit, man. So now I gotta stealthily take out these guys as I make my way to the ship as fast as possible, because otherwise Boris leaves at a certain time. I gotta at least arm the car with uh, the car bomb. Yeah. That seems like a pretty easy mission, then. You just have to make your way over there and, sh and put the bomb in there. Who? Huh? What the who? What the fuck? These guys have, like, no situational awareness. No, not at all. It is dark, by the way, and I only yeah, and I brightened this up. Really stupid AI is, like, a trademark of Hitman games. Or any they're actually game. less. They're less dumb in Absolution, but Absolution makes a lot of other mistakes. Like the one step forward, three steps back kind of thing. Uh, I don't know. It makes progress in other areas, but you know, fails in others. An Absolution, or in an absolute fail direction? Well, no. In a relative fail direction. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because they, they set up this whole arc where like 47 is becoming more human and he has like more, you know, feelings and stuff like that. And he's like working with a Catholic priest and he's like thinking, what is my purpose in life and all this stuff. And they sort of just drop that. Look at that body. Like, what the? Stuck in midair. Someone needs to fix the Matrix. Yeah. This might actually be the Matrix. It's probably the solution. I'm gonna run to Agent Smith later. Oh, geez. The other assassins. Yeah. Maybe that's who the guards are. They're just, they're just more Agent Smiths. And that's why they sometimes get those uh, headshots on you. Alright, put the bomb in. That's why they all look the same as well. I don't know why the car is unlocked, by the way. He always does everything in the shiftiest manner, Pot. He's always just like, hmm. Mm -hmm. He like, looks to the side, and if, if someone's there, he doesn't stop. Yeah, which I also did in God Run mode. I just went up straight to the car. Hey, I heard something going on. What's up? Uh, nothing. Uh, oh, hey, uh, something. Uh, I heard something over here. Oh, uh, what the? I just heard something over here. Hmm. Now yeah, there's two they, they dead. Even oh. Talk to each other. <laughs> like I found dead body. Radio for help, or anything like that. And or any sign of suspicion. Nothing. You can also kill Boris as he's leaving. I guess. Mm-hmm. What does he want with a nuke exactly? It's a threat, and he just hates Dutchland. I guess. They never said why. I don't think they said anything about Dutch why. Land? Oh, this is the Dutch level or something. What do you mean, Holland? No, Netherlands? No. Oh, I guess. I guess perhaps. Oh, so that's, that's Boris there? Mm-hmm. Huh. The second he's notice, notified, he's like, he runs really fast and, out, and uh, gets out of there. Yeah. 
So it's to your advantage to have him do that. Okay, fuck those guys. I set a bomb and what? Uh, what whoops. karma? What karma? You live by the bomb, you die by the bomb. Well, he went out with a bang. You learn to stop worrying and love the bomb. He was the bomb. So what are you doing on the ship now that now, he's dead? Now I gotta disarm the bomb. If you don't disarm the oh. bomb, the nuke goes off. Which I uh, allowed to happen in uh, the God Run mode. Because I was like, oh, you know what? Nobody ever saw it. Or we didn't see it. Or actually, I, I did. Now I gotta find it in this maze-like... Uh, Clusterphobic maze like a uh, ship. Yeah, they make this much more complex in contracts because he, you know the the SWAT team's actually going after him, and he he like threatens the SWAT team that he'll like detonate the bomb if they don't leave. And if you just let it go on, you know, as it's progressing, he'll blow up the bomb and everyone will die. You know, it'd, it'd be funny if there was like like there's a small chance where the SWAT team actually succeeds and you never really needed to be there, but it's like the the chance is small. That would be weird. Like, like just a random chance. Like, uh, it, it'd be interesting, but like, most of the time it doesn't happen. Like, you have to be the, be the big factor. Yeah. Just a suggestion, but like, you know. Yeah, they they do that in certain games. They don't they don't seem to do it in games like this. They do it in like um those you know Telltale games style story games. Oh, like how? Well, there was a game that was released recently. It wasn't Telltale, but it was it was called Zero Time Dilemma. Have you heard about oh. that? Oh, the Zero Escape series, yes. Yeah, it's based on, like, you know, going through different branches and making different decisions. But there's a situation where, like, you there's a gun pointed at a guy, and, like, the gun will set off, like, a door somewhere to save someone else. But the idea is there's three blanks and three, like, regular shots in the gun. And if you shoot the gun, whether or not the guy dies is just completely a random chance. Oh. See, I actually wanted I wanted to get Zero Dilemma, and it's actually on PC too, which is a little surprising. But uh, yeah, I played like the first two game, and uh, 999 is also in the ship too. Uh, qu yeah. Quick, disarm the bomb. Oh, yeah, we are we are on a ship. I guess like 999. Yeah. So when I was getting lost and claustrophobic, I was like, this really reminds me of how it, this is probably what it felt like in 999 to go around the ship, only yeah. uh, less interesting. Yeah, no, no nonary games here. Did you play those games? I played 999. I only got, like, I never got the, like, proper ending, though. Oh, uh, yeah, the proper ending is, like, fuck. Oh, by yeah, the way, it's that... like, several gradations to do it. And you gotta repeat, you gotta change certain actions, but repeat uh, some of them as well. By the way, the timer on that bomb is different every time you, uh, you get to it, depending on how long it takes you. Yeah, so if you wait long enough, will it just blow up? If, or, or more like, if you get there fast enough, it'll say like, "Oh, it's, there's a minute and twenty seconds left." If you if you get by at the last second, it'll be like, "Oh, there's only thirty seconds left," and such. Like, um, it's not it's not oh, a so, cut, it's not a so cutscene. It'll, ne cut it'll never blow up on its own. It will eventually. Yeah. If you take way too long, I thought you had to start the ship to blow it up, but uh, no, that's not the case. The way he climbs stairs is just like clop 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 clop. Yeah, I, I was kind of feeling a little sick going through uh, going through this level and the music. Yeah, this dun, is a. Uh... Dun, 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 didn't didn't you just pass by the stairs? Yes, but I didn't notice because everything looks the same, and this is pro unlike the hotel level. This is like really dull. Yeah, well, I like that. I like the fact that there's like random empty rooms because you know. Just, it adds it space makes, to it. Makes it makes the environment seem, like, real, sort of. <laughs> or it adds space to it, because if you only put, like, uh, rooms that are important, then, uh, well, you'd have to yeah. check every single room. Oh, thank better God if there was, like... Yeah, there's well, certain other games where, you know, like, the level design itself sort of spoils the game. Spoiler alert! What, the other games? How are we supposed to know they escape? Well, it's X kind of X obvious locks. there's going to be a good ending, or a there's going to be a good ending where they probably did. Yeah, we don't know that. I did. I didn't even beat the game, and I knew they were going to escape. Yeah, well, it's not certain for a game like that. Anyway, so you have to get... I have to start the ship now, because, uh... Well, oh, so you're, you're actually going away on the ship? Yes. Nobody stops me from doing this, not even the captain, who's actually at Wait, the just pound. A 
There's an entire crew on this ship, and you're just gonna start it up yourself and go away on it? Yes. See, the captain's right here. He doesn't stop me when I, uh... When I turn the ship and make it go. Huh. But... This- these assholes here are like, Oh! Shut down sheep! And I was like... Oh, you have to go back down and kill them? Yes, you have to kill those assholes. And I'm just like, ah, oh, Where is that bastard? Hey, yeah, welcome. A welcome change cutting that out. Fuck you. So, so are all the guys with shirts off, like, in the uh, same group? Yes. Yes. If you don't kill them, they'll keep shutting the en engine off and you'll take forever to get, get away. <laughs> So I was like, where did that, where was that guy? I thought everyone attacked me, because they were all like, hey, he's in the helm. Yeah, well, you did kill, like, three more of them, so. Alright, so it's like, let's get out of Dutchland. Or the Netherlands, or whatever. Dutchland, come on. Hey, I watched a different Hitman video where the guy just said Dutchland, so I just took it. Ugh. Send him to me soon, Doctor. I have some errands for him to run. In Hong Kong, he will be a most unpleasant surprise to my enemies. Professor, does he know that we are his fathers? Not yet, but I'll send him to visit you when he is finished. Then you can tell him the good news. Oh, nice. Oh, I get it. He's like, I'll send him to visit you. And yeah, he, send him. He's, he just sends you to kill them. And he doesn't even realize it. <laughs> Next up, the setup. All that money. Oh, so they agree to make... They agree to make this super assassin that Ort Meyer then just used to kill used to kill them. Yes. Well. So uh, yeah, that's the. Uh, all right. So that's the end of uh, the hotel and uh, the Dutch level. So I uh, hope you all enjoy the next video where it'll be the finale of the game, and we're gonna be done with this, and then we can move on to Silent Assassin. Yeah, I already know what happens in it based on Blood Money storyline, but uh, it'll be nice to see it happen. See the original story that Blood Money changed to alter it. Yes, yes. And cover up. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see it next. We'll see it, or you guys will see it next time. We might have God... We might do the God mode thing, because there is a few things I did want to show in there. But, uh, we'll see. Okay. So with that, stay tuned for more.